Are you just like me and you supplement with the amino acid taurine? Well, in this video, what I'm gonna do is take a look at the miraculous benefits of the amino acid taurine, and we'll dive deep into some groundbreaking research that I don't see presented much online. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. If you've been enjoying these videos, then please like the video and hit subscribe down below to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So what is taurine? Well, taurine is something that I talk about quite a lot online. And taurine is simply a amino acid that is conditionally essential for human beings, which is abundant in the body, brain, heart, and also breast milk. Now, interestingly, taurine supplementation makes animals healthier and also live longer. We can see an increase in health span relating to increased bone mineral density, improvement in pancreas function, improvements in gut health, improvements in brain health, optimization of the immune system, decrease in fat mass, and an increase in muscle growth and also energy expenditure. So taurine deficiency is also associated with poor health relating to things like high blood sugar, high BMI, diabetes, obesity, liver disease, abdominal obesity, and also inflammation. So we can see some of the actual ways in which taurine works to counteract the negative effects of aging. We can see that it um, blocks senescence. It works on intercellular communication. It uh, interferes with telomere shortening. It also plays a role in nutrient sensing, epigenetic changes, genomic instability, it also affects the loss of proteostasis, improves mitochondrial dysfunction, and also rectifies stem cell exhaustion. So as a reminder, we now understand that taurine plays various important roles in our body, helping to regulate our cells and support essential functions. One of its key roles is maintaining the health of our heart and muscles, and it acts like a helper molecule, making sure that our muscles work properly and our hearts beat rhythmically. Now, interestingly, you can find taurine in many energy drinks on the market where it is sometimes added to give them an extra boost, but it's not the same as caffeine or other stimulants in these particular energy drinks. In fact, taurine helps to balance out the stimulating effects and keeps our nerves and muscles in check. So in addition to its role in muscle and heart health, taurine also has antioxidant properties which means it can help protect our cells from damage caused by harmful molecules called free radicals. Now, overall, taurine is an essential and beneficial compound for our body, helping to keep things running smoothly and also supporting our overall health. Hey guys, if you're watching this video right now and want to unlock your full mental and physical potential, then the Limitless course is for you. Unlock my best biohacks for energy, motivation, and testosterone optimization so that you can conquer your goals with ease and crush every day with confidence. Click the link in the description and get it now for only $27 today. All right, now let's get straight back into the video. So I quickly wanna share my experience with taurine supplementation. This is a particular supplement that I've kept in my regime for at least three years straight now. And the reason why I supplement with taurine is because Number one, it reduces my anxiety. So it actually has an anxiolytic effect. Number two is that I find that it improves my liver markers when I do a blood test. And this is a reason why I encourage everyone to get a blood test at least twice per year. So I've seen improvements in my liver parameters. And I also use taurine to help with testicular health and also supporting testosterone synthesis. Um, as we know that taurine can accumulate in the testes and act as a potent antioxidant. Now, taurine supplementation also counteracts the deleterious effects of fluoride. So I know that taurine actually blocks the negative effects of some toxins in the body, including fluoride. Now, I also use taurine to increase liver glycogen stores, and I also find that I have better blood sugar stability when I take taurine. So I'm a big fan of taurine and I don't see any reason why I'll be stopping in the near future. So let's have a look at some taurine rich foods. If you're someone who doesn't want to supplement with taurine, even though it costs less than like 30 cents per day to take five grams of taurine, here are some foods that are rich in taurine. So we have chicken heart, which I eat semi-frequently, uh, beef hearts and the heart from any mammal. Now other taurine rich foods include shellfish, ruminant meat, 
monogastric meat, eggs, and dairy, with milk being a particularly rich source. Now, bear in mind, the more you cook your sources of taurine, the less taurine is actually left. So now let's have a look at some crazy research. This is the first research article that I haven't seen presented anywhere online, and that is how testosterone enhances taurine synthesis by upregulating androgen receptor and cysteine sulfonic acid decarboxylase expressions in male mouse liver. Now, obviously, this is not a human study, but it's interesting to see how taurine may be increased following testosterone output. So what we see here is that testosterone enhances taurine synthesis. So there might be a one-two punch, a back and forth signaling effect with taurine and testosterone, which may occur in humans. So this is pretty interesting research. This next study was titled Comparative Investigation of Analgesic Tolerance to Taurine, Sodium Salicylate, and Morphine Involvement in Peripheral Muscarinic Receptors. Now, what they noted in this particular study was that the combination of taurine and sodium salicylate, or otherwise known as aspirin, induces more potent analgesia, which is pain-killing effects, compared to the use of each drug alone. And it seems that this is mediated by the activity of muscarinic receptors in the peripheral nervous system. Furthermore, for long-term therapy, this combination undergoes less analgesic tolerance. So taurine plus morphine application is an effective strategy to reduce both morphine analgesic tolerance and dependence. And again, this seems to be uh, to depend on muscarinic receptor activity, however, through different distinct cellular pathways. So what they're stating is that taurine plus morphine is an effective strategy to reduce both morphine analgesic tolerance and dependence. So this may sort of assist us in, t in determining how taurine works, but also may actually enable the user to use less morphine for its pain killing effects. This next research study was quite interesting. It was reversal and preventative pleiotropic mechanisms involved in the antipsychotic-like effect of taurine, an essential amino acid in ketamine-induced experimental schizophrenia in mice. Now, what they noted in this particular study was that taurine attenuated or blocks ketamine-induced schizophrenia-like behavior without changes in body weight. So I'm sure many of you are familiar with the dangers of ketamine if used incorrectly, ketamine can actually induce or create schizophrenic-like behavior. But in this study here, they're demonstrating that taurine can block this schizophrenia-like behavior. So taurine reduced ketamine-induced dopamine and serotonin changes and increased GAD and BDNF levels in the striatum, prefrontal cortex, and hippocampus, suggesting increased GABAergic and neurotrophic transmissions. So taurine also decreases ketamine-induced increases in TNF-alpha and interleukin-6 concentrations in the striatum, prefrontal cortex, and hippocampus. These findings also, also suggest that taurine protects against schizophrenia through neurochemical modulations, neurotrophic enhancement, and inhibition of neuropathologic cytokine activities. So that is pretty interesting stuff with taurine yet again. Now, this study here was titled Taurine Attenuates Catabolic Processes Related to the Onset of Sarcopenia. Now, sarcopenia is not good. This is a loss of muscle function and size with age. And so anything that can counteract or block the onset of sarcopenia will inevitably be very good for aging or slowing down aging. And so they, the authors noted, we demonstrated that the administration of high levels of taurine in myogenic L6 cells stimulates the differentiation process by downregulating the expression of molecules involved in inflammatory pathways and modulating processes such as autophagy and apoptosis. Although further studies are currently ongoing in our laboratory to better elucidate the molecular mechanisms responsible for the positive effect of taurine on myogenic differentiation, this study suggests that taurine supplementation may represent a strategy to delay the loss of mass and functionality characteristic of senescent muscles. So this is awesome research on taurine. And you're probably wondering now in terms of dosages for taurine, we're looking at around anywhere from 1,000 milligrams to 6,000 milligrams per day. Now, if you do want to purchase taurine, I will have it linked down below in the video description if you do want to utilize taurine 
as part of your health optimization protocol. And bear in mind, there are many other beneficial effects of taurine that I haven't even had the chance to cover in this video, but I have made some other videos on taurine or about taurine on this channel. So be sure to check those out and also check out my podcast. That's called the Boost Your Biology podcast. There's also some podcasts on taurine there. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. Please do like the video if you did learn something new and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.